Greetings, Benjamin J. from Ben's Trains with another in the series. I have discovered a problem, a major problem, using the wireless remote control. As you see, I have a uh, searchlight on the outside rail, and I have absolutely no control over it at all, as you see. So what I did, I put a Marks 1998 on the rail and uh, was testing the E unit, forward reverse, forward reverse. It worked, but evidently there is a glitch. Uh, whenever you cycle the Marks E unit, it sends a signal back through the track and destroys the controller. So the 1998 reacted perfectly for about, uh, I don't know, five or six cycles and then took off, <coughs> excuse me, took off uncontrollably at full speed. So I had absolutely no way to stop the locomotive except to disconnect the power. And I reconnected it, and as you see, the power is on full, and I cannot control it. So obviously this is not going to work, which is unfortunate. Uh, it works fine with uh, any locomotive that runs forward only or does not have an E-unit turned on, like the Lionel. I've got the E-unit turned off in the Lionel, the 2025. So I tried the 1998. Like I said, the E-unit cycled perfectly about, I don't know, six, seven, eight times, and then bang, took off at uncontrolled speed. And obviously the uh, E-unit glitch, um, when it cycles, sends out a pulse through the track that attacks the controller. So unfortunately, this is not going to work. It's not going to work with a Mark C unit in any case. So in any case, like I said, I have no control over the controller now at all. Power is on full. It won't react to power on off. It won't react to power up down. It won't react to anything. It is completely dead. And as you see, it is uh, allowing full voltage to go to the track. So the fuse didn't blow, so it's not a fuse problem. It's a glitch, a uh, power surge of some kind going back through the track when you cycle the Marks E unit. It sends out a pulse, and that pulse destroys the integrated circuit in the controller. So, again, the only way to, to discover any of this is to do it. Bad news. Obviously, this is not going to work. It works fine with a uh, locomotive that does not have an E unit. It may work fine with a Lionel E unit. I haven't gotten that far. But it will not work with a Marx E unit. Like I said, it sends out some kind of uh, voltage spike back through the track when the E unit cycles and burns out the integrated circuit in the controller. It is completely dead. It's allowing full voltage, but I have no control over it at all. Nothing. So, unfortunately, this is the end of the experiments. There's no point in continuing. It will not run a Marx locomotive with an E unit. So, the only way to find out is to do it. Unfortunately, it does not work. So, as always, if you have any questions, feel free to drop me an email, benstrains at gmail.com. And as always, thank you for watching.